Girl, how you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, freaking Belsif. Freaking right I am. Today's Monday. Hey, we went to work today. We did, and uh, pretty quiet out there with this old uh, Coronas going around, boys. I don't know if you live in Ontario or not. Old Trudeau there is telling everybody to stay at home, or we'll make you stay at home, eh? That's basically what they're saying, boys, girls, people. So I don't know. If I go for a drive because I'm bored, doesn't mean I'm going out in public. It means I'm staying in my own little truck -a I guess we're gonna cut back and uh, I'm gonna go on call for the next couple weeks. If anybody watches this and needs glass for good old gold glass and accessories, a call only basis, boys, and I'm on only for emergencies. So if you got a broken windshield that's been broke for six months, don't bother calling until friggin' two weeks is up. My God. You know, if you need a safety because you're in dire need to go nowhere, then for, by all means, you better call me. Basically just staying on call for like trucking companies and stuff like that. You know, the commercials need to keep moving, so we need to keep putting glass in them things we do. Rate Neil for friends? Freaking right Neil for friends. Rate Neil for friends was over yesterday, everybody. Say hello to Neil, why wouldn't you? Hey Neil, how you doing, bud? He said. But anyways, he got, uh, he lives in uh, Wallace Chicken, Wallace Burgage. He got kicked out of the old Canadian Terry, he did. Because they asked him, hey, Neil, have you been out of the country lately? And he says, well, yeah, I am. I'm a truck driver. They said, well, you get out. Get out! So I got a pretty good kick out of that. Boys, girls, peoples. Freaking right, I did. We're going to head home here in a minute. I just got to go see Pops for a sec. And we're going to head home. I got to drop off a piece of glass. I do. For uh, one of our very important customers at the Kubota dealership. I did a window for him today in the skid steer I did. So we'll drop that off on the way home because they're in my hometown. And we'll get them all fixed up so they can deliver that skid steer tomorrow for their customer. Because customers are important. Hopefully everybody's staying safe. I see there's some more not confirmed cases, but maybe cases in Ontario. It doubled since last night, they said, but they're not confirmed. So I think we're all going to get her. It's just a matter of time. Tis what it is, it is. So there's still quite a bit of cars on the friggin' road. They're still driving around like dickards. I don't know why. Go home, would you? Oh, wait. You're probably still working. You're forced to work. I don't know what to get of it, boys. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Leave your comments down below. And tell me what you think is the real deal. As bad as you think, or just taking more precautions than they have to, or if it's conspiracy theory, eh? China made a conspiracy theory. Let's crash the stock markets, send out this little doodad, and we'll give it to everybody, and then everybody will just crash, eh? And then we'll take over again. Take that, Donald Trump. Anyway, wouldn't you? I don't follow politics, and I don't want to follow politics. I just want to go with the flow, and I'm going with the flow. Work said, hey, we're shutting down, so... Let's shut her down, boys. But, Bill, we need you part-time. Why wouldn't you? We're on call base. Terrible. See. Where the fuck are they coming back from? So here's a good example. There's a trailer over here at No Frills. Got bikes on the back and everything else, so they must have just come back from Florida, or they're going. One of the two. They shouldn't be going if they're going for one. And if they are back, what better to do than come over the border and stop at No Frills and go in and contaminate everybody if they do have the virus, eh? This is the kind of shit that blows my mind, buds, boys, girls, peoples. First thing I do when I come over the border is go to a grocery store with lots of people in it. <coughs> Fail. Dumb. Just dumb. I hope that God, my fans that are watching this, ain't one of them kind of people. Call a friend, say, hey bud, we're coming back from Florida. Can you do me a favor and go to the grocery store for me and throw it all at my house and I'll e-transfer you the money so we can go straight home from the border. So just in case we can just do the self-quarantine for 14 days. That makes sense to me. Leave your comments down below if you agree with me or not. I have a buddy that they went away, him and his wife went away. The in-laws or the whoever, stock their house so they come straight home from the airport straight to their house and now they're gonna sit in there and vegetate for a week aren't you mark hey bring right here good for you guys hey holy fuck it's hotter than dicks in here i'm sweating my ball sack off ah, that's better ah, hey. ah. what's really going on I'll talk to you later, Dad. Well, the old man's doing good. Didn't go in the house, though. I stayed outside and talked to him because I said, I don't want to go in, Dad, just in case. But talked to him outside. Kept my four meters distance from him. I did. And we shot the ship from in and I left, boys. 
girl's peoples. Because he is 76 years old, and I'm not going to take any risks with the old man because I love the old fighter. Sam tries it, boys. I found a stash in the back shop near the trailer stuff. Freaking hurry. Don't clean your windshield off or anything, bud. Heaven forbid you wipe the scum off your windshield. So anyways, we're gonna mosey on home here and get comfy and go from there we are. Come on, turn the goddamn thing. Jesus, Murphy. Some people cannot fucking drive. Come on, you're fucking annoying me. Let's go, for fuck's sakes. Well, home sweet home we are, so we're gonna go in. See what's going on. Maybe take a ride down, see if we can catch a train or two. But other than that, boys, girls, peoples, we're mint. It's mint out. Well, everybody's having a good day like I am. And let me know down below if you got sent home from work or not. Or if you have to go on unemployment or whatever. Boys, we'll have to see what happens. From here we will. Pretty right, we will. She all works out, she does. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button. And uh, you know what to do for now.